Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I don't want to engage in potty humor, but when the shoe fits, wear it. Obama isn't just using his phone and his pen to desecrate the Bill of Rights of Constitution. He's taking pleasure, urinating treasonous acid onto it and dropping little poodle bombs on it as well. And I think it's important to, 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 to denigrate Obama. So I think I'm going to come out with an image of a dog with the head of Obama on it with that character. What's the character's name that it, people put in their cars peeing on Ford or Chevy? Calvin, yeah, urinating on them. And, and you know, because I mean, I'm done with these people. People have already come up with it, it looks like. Obama urinating on the economy. There you go. I mean, when the shoe fits, wear it. See, I didn't even know that was out there. <laughs> and again, if a Republican acts like this, I'll do it with them. I'm tyrants. But I'm a Republican, but I'm a Democrat. No, you're not. You're a piece of garbage. And if a politician has to do some political things to compromise, to move the country in the right direction, I'm not going to jump on them. But when you want to destroy the country and you really enjoy it, I got a problem. Bob in Maine, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Um, Reading a book, series of books right now it might be a possible suggestion for a guest on your show. Have you ever heard of this guy called Matthew Bracken? He wrote the three uh, uh, enemies, foreign and domestic books. Have you heard of those? No, sounds interesting. What's it about? It's it's fiction, but it's basically about the first book starts out with false flag terror, how they set up a veteran uh, to do like a uh, a sniper shooting at a, at a uh, football stadium. Sounds like they turned that into the uh, shooter film of Mark Wahlberg. It it's. It's the books, if you read the books, they're kind of in the same vein, but it's a totally different offer. His name's Matthew Bracken. He's got his own website. He seems like it'd be a really interesting guest for your show. No, I mean, all I know is what I've read about him on the Internet, but the three books are really good. It's, it deals with subjects that are right in the same vein as your show. Well, that's how you find them. I mean, you can do it with music. You can do it with fiction. You can do it with reality like we do. Everybody's got to produce their own media to counter the globalists. That's why... Every major drama, sitcom, you name it, is anti-family, anti-gun, anti-freedom, because this is the authoritarian takeover. You can look at the propaganda of the system and see how bad the establishment is. Great points. Appreciate your call. Let's talk to Steve in Chicago. Wants to talk about Nancy Pelosi. What do you want to say about Mr. Pelosi? Okay, well, Mr. Pelosi got into a little finger-pointing with uh, Representative Tom Marino from Pennsylvania. She called him insignificant. Oh, yeah, and, 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 and she began shaking, too. Uh, the story's up on Drudge, Fox Politics. We should have played the clip. I mean, that's the kind of sensational stuff that's good. We don't just cover something if it's sensational. We cover something if it's sensational and pertinent for viral spread you know, with two Ds for a double dose of pimping the New World Order and bringing them down. Uh, but, yeah, she got really, really upset, and uh, we'll try to pull that up later. Go ahead. Also, also, uh, your Congress people are on vacation. They are staking out places and will be talking to people. I would highly suggest everybody go visit them wherever they're speaking at and start raising a ruckus. You know, that's a great point. We should all have a call for action like the Tea Party first went after Republicans and Democrats, so the Republicans got scared and tried to embrace it. That didn't fully work, so now they just openly demonize it. I should shoot a history of the Tea Party video about that. Everyone, including my reporters, ought to go down and find our congressmen and women when they're visiting the local church or the local store or the local HEB, you know, wherever, having a meet and greet, and go get in their face. That's what this is all about. I totally agree with you, Steve. Well, I just want to say I'm a I'm a ex -burger and also uh, support a little bit of the uh, the uh, Democrat uh, of the LaRouches when they were here in Chicago and they were actually got in and Democrats unceremoniously kicked them out. So they have a they have a, a little bit of a, a bite in this game when it comes to uh, the Democrats. Uh, playing. Oh, I know. The John Birchers, you know, uh, I mean, I, I think they're good people. I don't know about your local organization, but their ideas are good. And a lot of the ideas of the LaRouche people are good. I don't agree with some of their solutions. 
But thank you so much. I'm out of time. Sorry to Mockingbird, Chris, and others. I'll be on the nightly news tonight with the co-host, 7 o'clock Central, Lord Welling. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality, delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Members of Prison, members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family.